Welcome back to Lego Wiz. This was my Christmas present for my grandma. Um, the I'm gonna be looking over here at the manual. Um, seven five nine five five, the Hogwarts Express from the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And the way you can tell is because um, this is spoiler alert, so you you've been warned. Um, I'm gonna say this at the end of the video, probably if I remember. Okay, let's just do it at the end of the video because. I, so this is the Hogwarts Express. Um, this thing, this brown thing on the bag, did not come with the set. Train tracks did not come with the set, or base plates did not come with the set. We just added them so it's going to be easier to film. So this is the Hogwarts Express. Um, let's start with our mini figures. So let's move this manual out of the way. So, we're going to be starting out with my favorite character from the set, Remus. Oh, ah! Me and my dad tried to build this thing so it's easier for me to unfail um, minifigs. So, let me just get this. Right angle. There we go. Okay, this is Remus John Lupin, my favorite figure from the set. Um, he has this brown hair, which, um, appears in quite... A lot of minifigures it appears in like him. Um Neville Longbottom. Or the grown up Neville Longbottom. And like from the Fire Max set from Ninjago, which is somewhere around this room. It is not Oh, it's right there. The Fire Max that hit there was this boy that he that with a popsicle. He also had this hair piece, so it's quite a common hair piece. It's not exclusive just to this dude. I don't know why I'm starting to use the word dude a lot. Um, he has this brown wand, which is also in a Moran. Well, because they both came out of the first bag. He has an old shabby the uniform because well he doesn't like getting tensions um or however that thing is called he wears some kind of brown black gray jacket um green vest black bow tie and looks like some kind of white thing a white shirt i guess then he got a couple of these things well um wrinkles and um, like what a black pocket thingy and he has a ton of tours because, um, spoiler alert, um, he, during the full moon, he turns into a werewolf. Well, because he was bitten by a werewolf as a child. Fen he was bitten by Fenrir Greyback, a werewolf as a child, which I actually have that figure. He's in the burrow, I guess. Yeah, he's in the burrow. So he carries this luggage. Um, there's his face. He got some scars, a mustache, and eyes, and then his other face. He has. It looks like he has turned into a werewolf with fangs and yellow eyes. I mean that. I mean that doesn't make a very good job of recreating his werewolf form. I wish they could make like a version of Lupin with like he's full werewolf, like the the head, the hair, the body, the legs, like full werewolf. They gave the prisoner to ask him. That was awesome. I love that. It was awesome. Moving to on to our next character, the uh, Dementor. So I actually don't like this Dementor as much as the older Dementors. Um, first up, the first one is that, um, he's white to black. He's white to black. Well, look at him. He's black. He's f almost fully black. And the other ones had some kind of colors that were, that, that looked much more like a Dementor. I'm going to have to say the very first version of the Dementor was the best. That's just my opinion. I mean, a lot of people think that this one is better, but I don't like it. Well, the first reason is that, like, the older ones, they had, like, a cloak on the back and the front. This one pretty much has a cape. 
Well, let's get off this differences and my opinions, and let's get started. So, the Dementor wears um, a black hood, and this, is, and this is all that can represent of the cloak, which looks terrible, in my opinion. Um, his head doesn't has no eyes because, um, well, the mentors, they're blind. They have eye sockets, which are the things their eyes sit on. But they have eye sockets, but no eyes. Then he's got a ribcage. Looks like some gray, white hands. He has no back printing. But instead of legs like most minifigures have, he has a stand. And, and sort of make, make like smoke because um the mentors float and this is the best they could do to represent the floatness which looks actually really good i like this stand better than the older stands but this but this stand looks better the rest of the dementor looks worse hey i'll play down i'm flying upside down Okay, well, that's the Dementor. Let's go next to, how about the Trolley Witch? So this is the Trolley Witch. Let's remove this thing. We'll take, we'll check her trolley out later. So this. Okay, this is the Trolley Witch. She has no wand, but, well, she is a witch, but she should, right? Well, maybe she has one, but it didn't come this way. I'm actually pretty sure she doesn't. Um, she has this hair piece which appears in quite a lot of figures. A lot of figures. This hair piece, I know I have one of these in like an orange color. Or probably a blonde. She wears this red coat and, um... Looks like a pink underwear, um, under, like a pink shirt and then a red coat. She has, um, plain gray legs. I mean, the back of mostly every minifigure is plain. Well, on some minifigures, the sides are printed, but most figures, the sides are blank. Just the fronts are usually printed. Yes, that is the trolley witch. Then let's check out her cart. <laughs> this cart does not go well. Look at that. <clears throat> That's so bad. So let's remove that thing and let's check it out just by hand. So it looks like we've got a chocolate frog, which is out of its dropping, which doesn't make any sense. Bubblegum, I think. I think it's called bubblegum. Then this looks like Birdie Box Ray Flavor Beans. There's the handle, and these wheels look terrible. They have holes in them. Do, does anybody know wheels with holes inside of them? But, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, then let's check out Ronald Billius Weasley. So, of course, ginger hair, he's a Weasley. Then he's got this uh, happy face. He has a happy face on. Oh, I forgot to show the trolley, which is the face is scared. Sorry. Um, he's got Bill's hand-me-down. Well, the Weasleys are not, well, like, they don't have a lot of money, which is rich. Which is meaning not rich. So, he, so Ron is wearing hand-me-downs from his older brother, Bill. Mm, looks like blue jeans, I guess. I mean, it's hard to tell what the pants are when you have these small minifigures. Looks like he's got some stitch work on the back. Then he does have another face, which is a scared face. I do have the hairpiece and head from the Diagon Alley. Which I'm pretty sure he came in. Let's see. Wizard Weas Weasleys? I guess. I don't know. Okay, that is um, Ronald William Squeezley. Then he also carries this cart, a cart full of luggages. Who, who travels without luggages? So everybody needs a luggage to travel. So at the front, he has his favorite scabbers. Then um, this is ma mainly the carts, mainly metal. 
And then these same wheels as the trolley, which look terrible, the poles inside. And it's getting two luggages, so I'm guessing one of them is Harry's. And the other one is maybe Ron's. Pull over! <laughs> crash! Oh my gosh, a crash! Hmm. Let's put those up to the Okay, and I'm pretty sure we haven't reviewed two other oh, good people. So this is Hermione Garanja. She's got this hair piece which I already have. The head and hair I also have from Diagon Alley. Um, yeah, she's got the same hair piece with this um, very messy personal smiley face and um, I think they should have like grown-up legs because this is the prisoner of Azkaban the third movie small legs don't match up the, the, the best way she's got this jacket this thing so let me take the hair off so you can see the back better in the front so she has this stripy jacket and the back also was some more stripes and small, and you can already see her back expression because the hat was blocking a lot of stuff. So then she does. Then she has this pale brown wand, which I took her off for some reason. A brown wand, same as it's the same color as her pants. And the final minifig, Harry Potter. So, um, I, I, I have this hair piece. It appears on most of the younger Harry Potter minifigs. Um, his face, I don't have from Zygon Alley. He had a way happier expression. But on this one, he's got a much more calm one. Well, I actually do have this one from this dude. They have, the, they have exactly the same at hair. He's got a blue zip-up sweater, jacket, whatever. Um, a back hood, um, and it looks like a lot of wrinkles. And then some bright, black, gray pants. Okay, those are our main figures, so this is, we're, we're not gonna need this right now. Let's. Let's start off by taking a look at the train. Let's roll it off. So as you saw the train on the train tracks, train tracks were not included. So let's start off with the front of the train. With the front of the train. Um, so I have no idea what all these toppings are. And I'm guessing this is like the bell. And then this like where the steam comes out. Um, I have no idea what this is. Probably for details. Wait, more. And this is a printed plate piece that says, um, Hogwarts Express, and I'm pretty sure the set number. Actually, probably not. That's not the set number. Um. Also, once you put this down, the wheels only go straight. The train can only go straight. Lift it up. The train can turn. Let's just put this thing in. In the side, it this is the pilot's the um, driver's cabin. This is like um, looks like another number, probably the train number, like the number of the train. I mean, there are tons of wizarding trains, right? Um, but this is like the like most trains have a number, and um, this is the number of this train. So I have no idea what these gold studs are. It's mostly fully red. We got some beans. 
They're not Hogwarts Castle signs of mine. I can't see what I'm doing here. Let's see. Um. So well, we got. Oh, here's the Hogwarts Express logo. And we got some bottom curves. And some kind of BB pipe. And once you roll it, look at that little function that looks so much like a real train. That looks so awesome. Um, so, um, the, uh, the opposite side is completely the same. But let's detach these two and take a look in the pilot's cabin. So we can take, pop off the roof. Then we got some more beans. This is like where the pilot can like hang, like when, like once you, like the pilot can hang out here, which I'm pretty sure is a trolley witch. So she can hang out here and then say, all aboard the Hogwarts Express. Then we got some windows and I have no idea where all these buttons are. Um, I don't know what these things are. I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are. I don't know. I, I'm guessing this is the call. But I absolutely know nothing about those controls. Nothing. Nothing. I know nothing about that. Alright. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That out. Oh, that out. And let's take a look at the coal car. So we got some beams, pipes, I don't know. Then this is like where they put the call in. I don't, I don't know what you could actually put in here. You could put in on, um, what can you put in there? Like the student's luggage. With this thing, you could put that inside. But it, and this is almost like a balcony. Oh, and I had to tell you, both of these stickers are upside down upside down i mean if you wanted to turn it over it would say hogwarts railways and a hogwarts logo and then the bottom uses these very awesome shiny silver pieces they look fabulous let's connect these two okay. Let's take a look at the passenger carriage, which is my favorite part, my favorite part. So, um, yeah, this is the hook thing that connects to the other parts of the train. Um, why are these, they're empty areas? You could put your finger through. What, 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 what? That does not make sense at all. Why are there these tiny opening areas? But you can put your fingers through. You can look through like that. Hey, I see you. I see you. I see ya. I see ya. Hello. I'm right here. Hello. I mean, you can see through here. You can pop off the roof. And then you got to remember which side pops off. The piece with the corner plate, though that's the side that's attached. But, but, but this side, it can detach. So it's easier for you to play inside this thing. Um, so these are the four studs that connect this on. This also has, let's check out this thing first. So this has opening windows, like the other side. So pretty much both sides are exactly the same, except this one has traits. The other one has um, corner plates. Yeah, let's see, we got this line which looks very distracting. Very, very distracting. It should be red. That looks way better than red, in my opinion. Now, a Hogwarts logo and more red. This roof is very similar to the, the, to the, 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 the driver's cabin. Look at that. They're, they're very similar, but not the same at all. Well, the first difference you will definitely notice is the size. This one has studs, the other one is completely child. 
Yeah, they have quite a, a lot of differences. But let's take a look inside this place. So basically, we got like a little area in between here. I guess you could put this thing or this thing. I don't know. Then we've got some chairs, which look very cool. This is probably the best chair design I ever seen in my life. That's my opinion. It's not the best chair I've seen in my life. But um, I'm having fun here. Um, because um, I'm all I'm having fun saying the word dude, 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 dude. I say dude. No, nonstop probably. Yes, that's the passenger carriage. Then the opposite side is like um, pretty much exactly the same. It's a very distracting strip. The Hogwarts logo while I'm opening windows. I can't open them right now, but I can open these two from my fingers inside. And I can pull my fingers out. Oh, there we go. Let's put that thing on. Boom. There we go. That's the train. Let's take a look at the background. So this is the background of the train, the train tracks, and the base plates, and this brown thing were not included in the set. We just added them for um more detail. Well, there are these extra spaces for the train tracks. So over here is the born place where you can like the stairs, then there's an overpass, and it's big enough for the train to go through. So you can walk over the train and there's a clock and this clock is really supposed to be pointing at three o'clock. But um this but in the in the in the picture, it says that the train is leaving. Doesn't the tra train leave at three? It leaves at eleven a.m. on the on the first of September. Does anybody know what that's all about? That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, then you can walk down. And then you can walk down here, and this is where we see the more interesting parts. Which for some reason this isn't holding on. Just for a second. Boom, there you go. Then this is 9 and 10 signs, so you can know where you're going. First of all, this was not included as well. I got decided on most of these things. Um, so this is the one you run to run at because the best way to recreate the scene where when the people were running through is like that. It's on Technic Hinges. Wee, I'm having so much fun with this. It's almost like a rocking chair. So you could have your trolley here, then you can push it through. And boom, it went to the other side. So once you go here, this is King's Cross. So you, so there's an electric lamp and it, and it was a transparent clear head. It can't see very well, you. I only see like a, there's something blue inside. Most transparent stuff have the ones inside. Then over here we got some gas lamps because this is um well not the place you want to be in. This is just puffing around your quarter, so you want to run through this wall. Run through that wall. Run through this wall. So you're gonna be in the air, run through this wall this way. Do, 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 do. And you can bore the train on the side. Then over here it looks like a newspaper stand, a daily profit, and I really like the design they stacked it on top of each other. Let me just remove that so we can take a closer look. So they made it like this because um first of all they um had some empty studs, so they put one oh on these empty studs, and then there are two more empty studs, so they put a another one. And then it's on hinges so they can bend them. Bend the eight. 
Then it sees the, this beam has a wanted poster for Sirius Black. And this does a much better job of recreating Sirius Black's poster than in Diagon Alley. It looks, this looks way, way, way better. That looks terrible in Diagon Alley. Then another gas lamp and platform and three quarter sign, and I have no idea what these white things are all about. Um, yeah. Okay, so we got it. We got the entire Hogwarts Express set covered up. It's quite a small set, but I am. Um, Constantly playing with this like non-stop. It's a, it's a very awesome set. That is the entire Hogwarts Express except the mini favors, which are on that side. I definitely recommend you getting this set. Um, it's one of my favorite Harry Potter sets. This was for my grandma. It was not for me from Christmas. Well, it was a Christmas present for my grandma. And, um, my mom, what well, I mean, Santa Claus, he gave me the second biggest Lego set and the biggest version of Hogwarts Castle from 2018. And I think I'm going to be doing that, like, today, I guess? Tomorrow. T yeah, today. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing here. That was the end of this video. I hope you like this. Um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.